to the 18th. Long iron in his hand, three iron. Trying to hit it in with a big, long, sweeping hook. Oh, this is... Is he going to go in? He has just finished 2-2 two, two to be 21 under, and now Doherty has got it all to do over the closing hole. Adam Scott, 105 yards to the flag. You can get a sand on that. You can pitch it part. You can hit a good hard shot here and pitch it past the flag and spin it back to the to the flag. You've got about 15 feet to work with behind the flag. Maybe a tad more than that. Wow! Oh, hey, what a way to finish! It's been a day of ups and downs for Adam Scott. He started with two birdies, he's finished with two birdies and an eagle. And this helped him to 66 in round three. Wonderfully played shot. Wasn't expecting to hold it, of course, but he played it for that slope, knowing that the spin would bring it back down towards the pin, and he got the line absolutely right. An eagle two at the 13. The silver now at 18, coming up a little bit short with a second. Remember, he chipped in at 15, and he chips in again at 18. Just one of those days, his lowest ever tournament round. Up the bank, a little chip and run. Hello. Very nice. I tell you what, I bet you'd have been sweating when his second shot was heading towards that penalty area. That's Colsarts. Second end of the par 5, 12th. 102 on the race to the by. I mean, it should be okay. Oh, wait, oh, nice. oh hold it. would you believe that? He caught it with a full smile, and I thought it was titled to a slightly bigger <laughs> celebration than that. He caught an albatross too. Now, yesterday at this hole, Canada's Aaron Cockrell produced a, a rather nice shot. One bounce, and in it went. Now, that was enough to earn him life insurance with Abaudois worth 30,000 Swiss francs. Congratulations. He likes it. He loves it. Get it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's an eagle two for Felipe Aguilar at the last. He jumps to 22 under par. A round of 62, a birdie eagle finish. My word, stunning stuff. Lee yeah. Hudson, second shot into the 12th. Oh, go in. What a fantastic shot from Lee Hudson. A double eagle, an albatross at the 12th. He doesn't know, or does he? He knows right. he's hit a good one. Yeah, I think he just thinks he's hit a good shot, but he doesn't know yet. See how far back in the stance this is for Andre Lisa, right on the back foot, just outside the back foot, punching it into the slope, camber round. And I have to say, that is truly fabulous. That is superb imagination. They haven't seen a better shot all day from that spot, and they won't. No doubt about the shot of the day. He was admiring it, he knew it was right on line. I'd say the sound was absolutely spot on. Beautiful pitch, six iron, and right in the middle. I will think. 20 Volvo Masters has uh, just come alive. Vijay Singh is always a threat. This is what he did at the 18th on the third day. He 
beautiful shot there for an eagle two. And a round of 64, one shot outside the course record. Third shot into the final hole for Kilhonan. Oh, into the final hole, literally. Beautiful stuff. Yes, take a bow indeed. Second eagle of the back nine for the Finn. going up the hill, a lot of green to work with. Oh, my word, well, it's all happening. Pitches in, long bunker shots. Well, he can't believe it either. We've seen Ola Tharbal make a birdie from the trees. We've now seen Langer make a birdie from the bunker. <laughs> Truly <laughs> marvellous golf. Back at seven. Half Torsen. Touch. We're we hearing this is the third shot at the par three ninth. Ten balls, four and five. But this is third into the 18th. Earlier on, straight into the hole for Eagle. Definite contender for shot of the day from the Indian. when he's in a poor position, he just treats it as a challenge. It's come out well. Go on, go on. Oh! <laughs> a birdie three for Harrington. Wonderful stuff. The wind's just picked up a little for Molinari, 159. That's the same club. Great for height. Come on. Oh, he's holding. Can you believe it? They're going in from everywhere. Birdies are no longer good enough. Albatrosses and Eagles, the order of the day. What a time to do that. You drop the shot at the previous hole. Coming off three straight birdies. Kawamura at the seventh. A little bit closed in his stance. You look at his feet. Well, this has been superb. Oh, my goodness me. What a run. What a goal shot. Just put me down for an ace. Look, look at, at that. Birdie, 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 eagle. Ha! <laughs> Stunning move today from Japan's Masahiro Kawamura. We'll head over to the tenth green side, Balala. Oh. <laughs> what a delicious little shot that is. That was not easy. Not much green to work with. And suddenly, it's two and a half. Nice cheer from the Kenyan gallery out there supporting him get this done you're looking up the right hopefully just trying to draw it that's the shape required uphill as well so that adds to the pressure of it yeah, he picked it very clean oh just absolutely flushed it he is a flusher and there was a big example up to 11 and Yosel out and having a cut at it to hit something like that. Four iron by the looks of it. Plenty of height. Oh, what a shot. Oh, that get it or not an albatross. It's got to be. Oh, well that'll move your score along. Oh, unbelievable shot from Lamb. <laughs> yeah, and then I made two and eleven. <laughs> an early move today, Warren Humphreys from the man who's third on the rankings. Well, Fox played beautifully, started at the 10th with the Austin 33, started back birdie birdie, and the eagle there at the third, like his golf this season, 
absolutely sizzling. Rory McRoy's found the left rough at the ninth. It's all the way tucked up in that back left corner. Oh. Not far from there. Exactly there. An eagle two for McElroy. Three under to the turn. They didn't catch the edge. Is it enough? The line's good. Oh, magnificent Hovland. Eight under par, one behind at the moment, and that's a fantastic shot. Prediction that someone's going to make a one. Ooh, this one has a chance. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wonderful reactions. Fantastic golf shot. Tense a long par three today, 242 yards. A difficult one all week. Here's Moronk. Cracker Jack, that is my. He's got it. He's got it. He must have it. He must have it. He, oh, jeepers! How did that stay out? What a hole in one that would be. Just the winner of the Madeira Island Open, Ricardo Santos, trying to recover. Oh, hello. Oh, what, what a great way to start our program. <laughs> And it, did he ever need that? A three over par, he was uh, certainly en route to missing the cut, but that has helped his cause quite considerably. Montgomery. A little gasp from Montgomery, maybe a little thin, but it's working very well indeed. What a shot. He wasn't happy with it initially, but he must be now. Clear from John Paramore, they believe that it is still playable, but it's only just very hard out there. Oh my mammoth! What a shot! <laughs> you see, it is playable out there, and it uh, doesn't do any harm to uh, run after a ball that and get the blood flowing around the system. Warm you up, yes. That's the biggest smile of the day. We think that's for an eagle at the ten. Bernie's had a lot of opportunities today. Hasn't really made anything to speak of, and all of a sudden the putting starts putting pressure on your longer game. Oh, oh, you little beauty! <laughs> How about this from KJ Choi? Three past a start, then a disappointing drop shot at the fourth. This wasn't disappointing. Yes, KJ, a slam dunk in for two on the treacherous par four. Sweden, the par 5 7th, and I think he's been pretty lucky here, very close to being in the bushes, but he seems to have got himself a nice open lie. Oh, what a bounce. Could it go in? No, he is. <laughs> <laughs> we heard the roar. I thought it was probably for Rolf Bunsen. And don't you be embarrassed, he had a couple of doubles in a row, and they just doubled it. This one again, I mean, the, the sixth hole again, I think he doubled five and six. Andre Bossert has reached the tenth. Open 34, but uh, losing way a little bit with a double bogey at the ninth. Tom Chai JD. But it's perhaps the hardest shot he's got to play now in the last three holes. On this 
16th uphill. Can't quite see the bottom of the flag. 188 yards on the card. He's gone straight at it. Well, that is, you've got to say, a shot of a tournament to produce that at a time like that is outstanding. Sharek at plus nine. Al is his first name. Oh, that's quite a good pronunciation there, Dom, did you? Very good. From the United Arab Emirates, so one of the, the homegrown players. Great experience. Right, OK, back to the young amateur, 14 years of age. And he got a plus 3.7. Third shot, the very tough 10th hole. Got the club face wide open, hasn't he? That's a great touch. That is superb. Go on, young man. Yeah. No, he's allowed to smile there. This is this is a wickedly good touch, isn't it? Not the last of the short holes. It's just had another buddy, so he's 19 under par. Oh, and he's going to hold a hole in one! A hole in one for Donaldson. They'll get uh, many, many miles for that. watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.